that's not the way to do kata. That's not correct. Uh, these are interesting statements that are made in respect to one person teaching another person a form. It really doesn't make any difference what that form is. It could be Wing Chun Silim Dao. It could be Shotokan's Teki. Any kata, any pattern, it's a tool to convey information. The goal of the kata, I'm going to talk about kata because that's what I'm familiar with, the challenge becomes, am I learning this kata because I want it correct? Am I making an effort to do what's supposed to be done in a way that answers the question about purity? Remember years ago being at a seminar in Sarasota, Florida, this guy came up and asked me what I did. And I said, it was Gojiru Karate. He said, it's what uh, our club does. And he gets to the point to where he says, well, we do our kata just the way Chojun Miyagi did it before he died, which I thought was really an interesting statement because I would submit that it's impossible. It can't be done. You cannot have information conveyed like that and have it be specific. You can get the general points. You can get the trajectory. The first thing to go are the edges of the idea. And you can look at almost any oral tradition in passing on of mythologies and the stories change, but the core of the story remains the same. You can look at Greek mythology. One demigod sprouted from the belly of this titan, or another version might be that they were born. You get the idea. It's a general area, the belly, the reproductive organs. You can see how the edges are the things that change. When this guy's telling me that he's doing his karate purely, you know, I, I smile. I smile and nod. 